Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, it was chilly last night. I've got my like proper full on spooky season pajamas on. I've just remembered my dream. I had a dream I was at my mum's house and one of the green parakeets that are in London got inside the house and it was just looking at me like, let's look up that dream. Green bird staring at me. Green bird dream meaning. A green bird is a beautiful and majestic sight to behold. But have you ever wondered what it means when you see one in a dream? Yes, I have. That's exactly what I wondered and exactly why I Googled it. Dreaming of a green bird flying? No. Dreaming of a green bird in a cage? No. Dreaming of a green bird that is eating? No. Seeing a green bird's nest? No. Seeing a dead green bird? I mean, calm down. Okay, it did fly a little bit because it flew inside, so let's do that. If you see a green bird flying in your dream, it could be symbolic of new beginnings or new opportunities that are coming your way. The colour green is associated with growth and expansion. So the green may represent something that is positive that is about to happen in your life. Alternatively, this dream may be a reminder to stay optimistic, even when times are tough. Okay. Conclusion. Even though the dream of a green bird is often interpreted as a sign that good luck is on its way, it can also indicate that the dreamer needs to pay more attention to their surroundings. All right, plot twist. Um, if you had this type of dream, consider what you might be doing in your life at the time and see if there are any clues in your current situation that could help you better understand the message your subconscious was trying to send you. If you are experiencing anxiety, or other negative emotions after dreaming about a green bird, it's best to seek out professional help. <laughs>Sunday 23rd 4th I don't know 24th September this is Lauren's outfit it's very jazzy lots of colours going on there you go and you match do you want to be on? hey (laughs) (laughs) nips hi morning oh sorry Sit in or out, you choose. Yes, thanks. I've been so excited because I'm like, it's recording. I know. Sorry, I'll take it off. Oh, hello. What have you been excited about? Oh, eating. Yum. I've got a huevos ranchero. We've got some fries. We've got Rubio breakfast. With <laughs> <laughs> How was your breakfast? Yeah, it was good. It was filling. Out of ten. Seven. Everything's a seven. I don't know if we just quit and say six. Because I'd say it was probably a six. Yeah. The bread was like this big. <laughs> Let's sit down and do some work. <laughs> Work, 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 na 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 so um, I've got a helper here. <laughs> She's just holding up my hair. <laughs> my thought process is if I made don't pick. Why are you picking up stuff off the floor? It was aimed. There's a bin down there. It was aimed at the bin. So my th- closed. <laughs> if if I'm if I'm filmed and witnessed me doing all this crap, then um. I'm actually going to do it. 
What are your thoughts? You need to get to work. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means you've only got one minute left on your... It's alright, I've got more batteries. SD card. Oh. <laughs> Can you just please just do it for me? No. Please. Begging is gross, don't beg. Comfy. Good. Thank you for your Sergeant General demeanour. It's okay. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> it's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me And I'm feeling good Good old Buble. He's probably um, defrosting as we speak, as they say. So this camera doesn't have horizon lock like my other one. So when I go with bumps, you're going to feel it. Bang! Why did I forget to brush my teeth? Uh, it's alright, I've got a spare toothbrush at mum's house. Okay, I need to stop talking because I've been editing this video. I've, I've done three days and it's over two hours long. I know, it's over three hours because I just have been rattling on. And no, before you say anything, I'm not posting three hours of a vlog, she says. No, I'm not doing it. Gotta have some restraint. Gotta leave you wanting more. Gag. Are you gagging for it? What is it? Are you, are you dying for it? You can never have... Well, no, I was just going to say you can never have too much of a good thing, but that's the actual opposite of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Got to leave you wanting more. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? One of, the, one of my gorgeous commenters yesterday said, also, please comment slash like slash interact in any way with this video because it really helps the algorithms and it really helps me. Um, one, of, one of you said that you you love the bits of my videos where I let the intrusive thoughts win and um, how I drive a bit too fast next to people just to scare them and I'm like, wow, that's me down to a T. <laughs> like if they're walking out in the road and they shouldn't be, yeah. Let's just let them relive their choices. Just put that little bit of, yeah, oh, that was it. She said, they do it because they know I'm not allowed to run them over. One of my freaking favorite things about comments is when, firstly, comments of any type, of any kind. But one of my types of favorite comments are when people remind me of things that I've said that are funny. So I remember how funny I am with every comment. Like, because the videos are so long and because it's just so much information that I forget. Yeah, or even little funny bits in the videos. I just freaking love it when people say, I loved it when you said this. So if you find something funny in this video, please comment below because I love reliving my comedic past. As if me sitting and editing my f former life isn't enough. I had a realization the other day, I'm like, all I do is like edit the past. God, I'm constantly living in the past, guys. Like right now, you're watching the past. <laughs> okay, I need to shush. Mango Pepsi Max. No. There's me thinking, is it April Fool's? No, it's September. Are you having salad?
Yeah, cause I'd, yeah, do you want icing, Lauren? Um, a little bit. Well, I mean, do you want this top bit of icing is what I'm asking? No, no, thanks. You don't want the top bit? I, I'd give me the top bit. I just chop, chop the bits off, I don't know. <laughs> so that's, yeah, okay. It's my mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> Reti happy retirement cake for my brother's mother-in-law. That's it. Happy retirement, Sue. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. It's so nice. Yeah, look, look, can I just zoom in on it? Like sort of creamy bits on top. Yum, yum, yum. yum. <laughs> <laughs> Just been to Aqua Aerobics. Go right back. Hi. What was I going to show you? I was going to show you two things, but I finally remember one. Why am, I just, <laughs> why am I just looking in my bag, hoping for some inspiration? My mulberry. <laughs> um, pays to have um, an ex-boyfriend that worked at mulberry. Uh, <laughs> so I had a lovely surprise today. Well, it actually arrived. Oh, I'm going to do some iPads. Um, this is not what they're called. Under iPads. iPad powder eye mask. Collagen. Maybe I should do them not before bed. Okay. Um, the swim was excellent. I'm a bit high on endorphins, as you can tell. Endorphins. Um, I had a bit of, that was it. I had a bit of a revelation when I was swimming, like doing aqua. I was thinking about getting into walking and trying to make myself get into walking. I know that you shouldn't try and flog a dead horse, which is what I feel like I'm trying to do. But I do want to I do want to be able to walk and like enjoy it. I just have so many barriers up in my mind. And the thing I kind of came to the realization about was like, hey Google, set a one minute timer, was that I need to separate my, my head from my body. Mental health obviously is about the brain. It's not about my body. It's not, obviously if I, I'm, I'm privileged enough to live in a body that is pain free. Um, I can move, I can, I, I have time where I can go. I have all these privileges. It's not about my body, it's about feeling better. Because you know that thing of like, oh, I wish I was as fat as when I thought I was fat when I was in my teenage years or whatever it might be. That shows that our issues with our body are never about our body. They're about up here. And it's about separating the two. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Well, no, I had a, I did actually have a few ideas. I was like, right, what's going to make this easier? Stop. Okay, um, uh, wait, my, my dinner's cooking. Um, what's going to make this easier? Firstly, wear something that is not tight. Wear something that's loose. It doesn't matter what the hell you wear. You don't have to wear a sports bra. This is to me. I don't have to wear a sports bra. I could literally wear any bra. I could wear no bra. I mean, don't make a joke. Um, I could literally wear no bra. I could just go out. I don't have to, I, cause I always think, oh, I'm gonna have to have a bag and then it will annoy me. No, I don't. I could take my key off of my key ring and just put it in a little pocket, put it in my bra, just put it on a lanyard, just something so I'm not carrying loads of stuff. Wear my leggings that have a pocket in the side so I put my phone in there, have my headphones on, obviously. And like, listen to, my head because the reason why i kind of came to this realization today was like i was physically out of breath but my mind was like this is so fucking easy come on come on but i was like my body was like no that maybe means i should listen to my body <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, let's do some cooking in the kitchen in the cupboard and then let's come back. So cooking in it, uh, yeah, just let's ignore this. Cooking in the kitchen, kitchen in the cupboard, kitchen in the cupboard, yeah. Obviously I'm having pasta because it's a day that ends in Y. And I've got mushrooms in there. And, um, I mean, that's boiling furiously. That's done. I'm not wearing a bra, FYI. I've made way too much. Cooking in the kitchen, kitchen in the cupboard, kitchen in the cupboard, kitchen in the cupboard, yeah. Horrible. Sorry, that was rank. So I've got some um, truffle oil. I've got cheese too. Let's put the cheese in. Okay. More cheese. Okay, while my incredibly nutritious meal can't cool down, um, I need to redo my nails, I'm already chipping. I am gonna show you, I got a surprise today. I have a Amazon wish list. Somebody asked me for it for Christmas, at Christmas, so I just left it in my bio, and I got a couple of presents today. Well, the box was absolutely battered, but, Luckily, the things inside are fantastic. Um, so, um, this is by no means saying that anyone has to get me anything from my Amazon wish list. I just want to give a shout out to Carrie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your lovely message. I'm going to message you on Instagram now and say thank you because this isn't going to come out for a couple of weeks and I want to say thank you now. I have the most random things on my wish list. And one of the things I had was. Um, some new pillows and I got into this bedding sorry this is bedding um at my friend's house and I was like this is the softest thing I've ever had on like in a bed what is it and thinking that she'd say like oh it's the white company and it's one thousand pounds and she was like oh it's Amazon so oh I'm so excited and oh so good so so good um so yeah i'm gonna make my bed properly tomorrow i'm gonna put that on and let's open these pillows because my pillows are they were dead about a year ago and i keep every single time i make um make the bed i'm like i need to get new pillows and now i have new pillows which is very very exciting and again i just feel so freaking lucky and privileged for, to everyone, for everyone that watches me, that supports me. It, it's just bizarre, it's bizarre, but I freaking love it, so. It's all yeah. That's a throwback to last week's video. Okay, it's recyclable, I'm just gonna pull it. I'm trying to save the bag, it was not salvageable. It's That sounds nice. Oh! Oh, they're gonna burst out, aren't they? Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow. It's like clouds. This is like freaking Christmas. If you'd like to have a look at my wish list, it's below. No pressure, zero, anything. Thank you so much, Carrie, for these gorgeous pillows and the bedding. I'll um, do a little vlog when I've got it on. Even more reason to stay in bed now. <laughs> I actually want a new bed. Don't worry, I won't put that on my wish list. But I do need a new bed because my bed is absolutely buggered. Um, today, I turned up to Mum's in my 
Let's call them hair trousers because OGs will know that these are hair trousers. Um, I turned up today and mum was like, Is those, are those pyjamas? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the morning, <laughs> obviously, because I can't get my words out. Um, after swimming last night, I didn't want to put my bra back on after swimming because it's like a blooming straight jacket. So I was like, I'm just going to put my t-shirt on. And I put my bra in my bag. And then this morning, I couldn't find my bra anywhere. I'm like, I want to put the freaking bra on. Where is it? I ended up choosing my white one because it matched with this t-shirt better, obviously, because the other one was black. So I'm like, where's the freaking bra? I was looking, and then I was like, I don't have time to look for it. It's going to be here somewhere. So then I leave my house. Get to my car and it's just on the floor Next to Next to my car <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it Poor thing No, I was just smelling it as if it had been pissed on by any Peed on by any animals It hasn't I don't think No, I'd know it if it had Anyway, that's going straight in the wash, obviously Yeah, weird morning Happy Tuesday <laughs> Weird. Yeah, I know. It's just here. I'm here for a date. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say because I'm being looked at. Oh wow, look, there's the shard. Huh. My date's finished. Um, I didn't film any of it. Uh, I'm just waiting at the station for an Uber and it's going to be here in one minute so that's very good news for me <laughs> my outfit looked really cute I wore this shirt from Cider Curve and these long wide leg black trousers from Cider Curve as well and I'm going to put my camera away now so no one mugs me morning I've got a Biscoff bagel that I burnt. Tes sesame. Oof. <laughs> I've got a sesame bagel for breakfast that I burnt. Oh no. That I burnt. Oh God, it's all dripping. Ugh. Um, but it's good that I burnt it because all the sesame seeds are toasted. I am going to work from home today. Oh my God, I took my makeup off last night. Why? The residue is real. How sad is this? I'm sitting here doing this and I'm thinking, I can't wait to have my free evening tonight to edit my video. I'm just absolutely freaking loving it. I'm loving YouTube at the moment. It's giving, I'm giving, it's giving, you're giving. Why does my ear look so cute? <laughs> it's like, meep. My analytics for my YouTube channel at the moment are mental. They're absolutely mental. So in the last month, you guys have watched my videos for a total of 89,000 hours. 89,000 hours. So if you added up all the minutes that you guys have watched my videos in the last month and played the videos nonstop, it would be 3,700 days. Oh my god, that's 
10 years. It's 10 years. Oh my God. You had to, you would have to play my videos for 10 years. That wouldn't equate to the amount that you've watched my videos for the last month. Okay, now even I'm shook. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that much. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. Mm. I'm gonna eat this crumb that fell onto my body. Need more light. We need more light. I'm struggling to know whether I should talk about this. Um, obviously, I want to be as real with you as possible. So, yeah, I can't ignore it. So, um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling mentally. Um, I've had a friendship breakdown with someone that you guys don't know, don't worry. It's none of my, none of my besties, but it's still really affected me um, to the point that I'm just so exhausted all the time. I can't tidy up. That's why Laura was here at the weekend to try and help me tidy up. She helped me a certain amount, but it seems to have just gone back. Like my table is just absolute r rubbish. Um, my studio is a mess. My kitchen's a mess. And because that's a mess, I don't have the brain space to be able to cook for myself. Um, so therefore I'm like getting takeaways or getting fast food on the way home or, and it's all just a massive vicious cycle. I've been sleeping on this freaking mattress protector on my, on my bed for the last four nights and I know that's disgusting <laughs> because I spoke to Lauren best friend Lauren not bubble friend the other day and I was just like I haven't cooked for myself in days and she was like honey I know that's I, I'm the same and I was like I haven't tied up in days I haven't showered in days she was like I get it I get it I said and I'm sleeping on my match protector she was like that's too far <laughs> But the thing is, is I know I need to wash my mattress protector because it's like an extra inch. It's really thick and really comfy. But I just haven't had time to like put it in the wash. And I could put a clean sheet on, but then I don't want to sleep on the mattress because oh, it just all feels so much. I'm working from home tomorrow, so hopefully I'm going to have time to do some bits. But like, it just all feels so overwhelming and I just don't feel myself. And I just want to be real about it and say that if you're struggling... It's so easy to feel shame if you're not being productive, if you're not cooking for yourself, if you're not doing all these things. And I think when you live alone, you lit it literally doesn't it doesn't matter if you don't cook for yourself. You can, I mean, you know, because you haven't got anyone else to feed, you haven't got anyone else to show up for, which sometimes, you know, each have benefits, each have um, negatives. But I just feel really overwhelmed with it all. Like last night was Wednesday. Yeah, last night was Wednesday. I had, no, I didn't have counselling. I finished work at about half five, edited for like half an hour till six. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to have an hour's nap. Set an alarm for an hour. Ignored the alarm. Woke up at 3 a.m. And then I worked for an hour till 4 a.m doing my editing, don't get me wrong. I freaking love the YouTube stuff. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just feel like I can't catch up at the moment with my life. If I could just, I don't know, live in a hotel room or have a cleaner and a cook and just get on with stuff, it would just be so much easier. It's also because my freaking videos put me to sleep. So whenever I edit, I fall asleep. Like even now I'm thinking about editing, I'm just like, <laughs> So, and I know I'm laughing because it makes it easier, but like, oh, I'm really struggling. And that's why I just want to say it out loud. And it's because of this kind of like unexpected friend meltdown, friend, friendship breakdown thing that I'm not going to say any more about, but it's affected me so much because it kind of came out of the blue. Yeah. So it's affecting everything in my life. Like I went back to work on Monday and I couldn't even type. My mum was literally having to sit there next to me, like narrating the emails so that I could type. And I was just like, Phew. it's been a bit of a mad time. <sighs> so yeah, 
I wanted to give you a little bit of an inner insight into my life. Because obviously I want to be as real as possible, but some things I just can't talk about. Um, and that's as much as I'll say. I was going to like do a video of like showing you all the mess and like showing you my... But that's not going to help me. Shaming myself into productivity works a fair amount of the time, but right now I don't feel like it will help. So here's just, uh, yeah, a snapshot into my life right now, today. What I need to do is I need to get things and be like, where does this live? Because Marie Kondo says that everything should have a place. Where does this live? Where do you live? And if I don't know, then I put it in a pile to give away. Because if it doesn't have a place, it shouldn't be here. Because I was doing so well with the decluttering. I was doing so, so well. And it kind of just feels like it's gone out, gone out of the window. So it's, well, and it get, it's getting dark so early. What time is it? Seven? Yeah, 7.03. <clears throat> and it's nearly dark so don't get me wrong I do love the dark nights um oh Heath Ledger what a waste hi welcome to voiceover Lauren um so I've just been editing and I saw that last bit of me complaining about my life being a mess and it kind of spurred me on to do this so yeah this is me getting my stain remover spray on the blood that got from my cut on my leg. I mean, I know, so gross. Um, so yeah, here we are. Wow, that's a bum crack. Nice, you're welcome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna fold it up and we're gonna put it in the wash and we're gonna sort the, sort our life out. Um, wow, that dress is giving. <laughs> oh my God. The freaking mattress protector is in the wash. Um, I had to properly shove it. I probably shouldn't have shoved it all in, but I've done it before. That's what he said. Um, my base is completely broken. <sighs> this is why I've been just like festering. I might flip my base around. I need to glue these drawers because they're the bane of my life. See? Oh, a spoon! I've been looking for a spoon. I need to eat something. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten or drunk yet and it's 11 o'clock. <sighs> ah! I'm keeping my lovely new pillows out of the way so that I haven't put them on yet so that they're lovely and fresh. <laughs> they're like up, up there. Medication notification. I'm going to try and flip my base. Why did they ever make mattresses without pull handles? Good morning, editing Lauren here. So I filmed, my camera died, then I filmed a whole bit on my phone about the fact that the base was really broken and I couldn't flip it because um, the base didn't have the struts on it to support the mattress. So therefore, goodbye base. Yeah, goodbye.
I've got a second wash on. So this isn't, this is like nearly dry because it's had a huge spin. So I'm gonna put it over the door thing. I've got my little desk set up for this afternoon because um, mum was doing something on the computer and now I'm working this afternoon. And I'm so glad last night I went shopping, I didn't show you. But um, I was just sitting here like, I really fancy a coffee and like something a bit chocolatey. And I completely forgot that I bought this fully loaded chocolate orange cookie, yellow sticker goods. Why am I shouting? Um, for 96p, that feels a bit of a rip off even on the deal. I mean, and a cook day old cookie probably isn't the best. Oh, it smells really orangey. Mmm. That is yummy. That's some good fuel. nobody on Facebook Marketplace respond. Actually, no, that's a lie. I was talking to one woman about a bed this week and I was trying to barter her down on the price and she was not having it. And then I was like, fine, I'll pay it. And I went back today and was like, I'll pay it. I didn't say that. I said, is it still available? And she was like, no, it's been taken. So nobody freaking responds. I just want a cheap bed that's good and pretty. Is that so much to ask? And close by. <laughs> Why do people take pictures of beds and they don't even make it? It's just disgusting. I don't understand some people, I really don't. Where's Dorchester? No idea. Um, yeah, I've got to get back on with work and not look for beds. We are on the mattress, on the floor, <laughs> and you're never gonna guess what. So last night I was like, yeah, you saw me. You saw me make the bed. You saw, I filmed it. Um, I was all cozy, all comfy cozy. And then I was like, this feels a bit weird. And then I was like, what? what is it? The freaking mattress cover wasn't dry yet. <sighs> so I was like, so I took off my sheet, shoved it over there, took off my mattress cover, shoved it over there, and I've just slept on the bare mattress. There's no words. <laughs> um, I have, though, found a bed base, bed frame, that I'm going to collect this morning. Bubble Friend's helping me. Um, we're taking both cars. Hopefully it fits in both cars. Yeah, send me good, send me good vibes universe it's going to fit in both cars um so that's this morning it's half eight at the moment yeah i love these dark nights because he's ledger um i've just watched me saying that in the edits so that's why i said it again that was so weird the day that he died because i remember i was at my first ever boy second ever boyfriend's house i was looking at he had like all these dvds on the wall and i pulled out a dvd i think it might have been like 10 things i hate about you and I was like, Heath Ledger. And I just was like, I had like a massive feeling in my chest. Like there was something not right. And then the next morning it said he died. Yeah, really, really freaking strange. Anyway, mattress protector. So that was wet. Well, it wasn't wet, it was just damp. And I thought I could easily stay here in bed and just sleep on it and hope it dries. But then it's going to probably make my mattress mouldy it's going to make me ill so let's just get up so i did that then um yeah fell asleep and i had a nice sleep probably i think i fell asleep about 11 so i had like eight hours 
So that feels good. I do like being lower down. I feel like a little borrower <laughs> in my own room. But yeah, getting up in the night to go to the loo, I was like, what's happening? Why am I on the floor? Yeah, we're going to go and collect this bed today. And um, obviously I'm going to take you with me. And yeah, send me good vibes from the future. So we're five minutes away from the bed collection. It's such a beautiful day. It's days like this when I'm like, why don't I ever come out like, and enjoy it? Anyway, that's not a question for right now. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna break a nail today. Actually, no, universe, we're not gonna break a nail, okay? I'm gonna stay intact. Okay, there's the house, there is no parking. Okay. Oh wait, there's a space here. Am I gonna get in here? I don't think I'm gonna get in here. No, I'm not gonna get in there. As much as I am the queen of parallel parking. I'm nervous, why am I nervous? That's two days old. Luckily, it's already disassembled. Disassem dismantled. So, I've got this just in case anything needs wrapping in it. I don't know why I bought my Allen keys. You know, strong independent woman. <laughs> uh, little stubby screwdriver, Phillips. And then this. Because you never know. I'm going to go knock because he knows I'm coming. I've got the money. I didn't realise how freaking expensive beds are. Especially an upholstered one like this. He was wanting 70. I said 50. We've got 50. And then someone else whose bed was free just messaged me and she was like, It's available. Of course you did. I was like, sorry, I've secured another one now. Right, stop talking and go and knock. So the bed goes on the floor. Yeah. Okay. You, you screw it, yeah. Oh, I guess these here. are the legs. You, you screw it here. Screw it here. Okay. And that holds the middle of the bed. Basically. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I just saw I have one. I thought maybe it needs no, three others. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <sighs> I've already got one leg. It's in. We're in. I didn't need to rent a van. A zip van. Luckily, kind of annoyed that um, the bed's on the ground. I don't know how I didn't notice that because I wanted a bed that I could put storage underneath. He was cute. Cutie patootie. Job done. Something about me actually that you don't know. I've got a really sensitive nose. Um, but obviously, any bed that has been in anyone's house is going to smell of their house, especially if it's upholstered like this one. So that was part of the reason why I was like, I really want an upholstered bed. But for 50 quid, this is such a good value. It is Ikea, but that's good because at least we can look it up and look if there's instructions to put it together if needed. Yeah, so obviously it will, the smell will fade, but this one smells nice. I mean, it looks brand new. So this would have been over 200 quid new, I think. Bargain. Off we go. Off we go.
lunch, eat your breakfast, or do you have to run off? This goes to the back, to the top. Yeah. <laughs> so bed complete <laughs> i don't know how lauren basically did the whole thing well i do know how because when i i helped her with her new bed a couple of weeks ago and i basically did the whole thing so yeah fair's fair so we've come to um tim horton's and um we drove here because it just made more sense with the cars and her going home. Um, she's not here yet. I won. Um, then I'm going to go to Ikea to get some underbed storage <laughs> for my new bed. Yee! I'm so glad it does have that bit. That's it's It has 18 centimetres so I can get something quite long and thin to go underneath. Actually, I should probably look on um, on the Ikea website under bed storage just otherwise there's no point in me going i'm getting yours remember You don't want a saw? Yum. I got a cheese and ham toasty. Some mm. loaded fries. And you got a little. Your burger looks so small. <laughs> Pot up to your head. Actually, it doesn't look that small. <laughs> it just uh. looks it's like. Dee. Yum. Bon appetit. In a video meet you know what interview me hello mm. what are you drinking me drinking a caramel ice cap and i have a oh that's weighty i don't know how weighty that i've got a apple fritter i don't know how weighty that is yeah should look fast Mm. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Why? I don't like apples. Oh, it tastes like crumble. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> See? You're going to miss really out on that. Cinnamon. You're going to miss out on life. <laughs> out of ten? That's like an eight. Oh, wow. Not a seven. <laughs> okay, it's absolute madness in here. Um, why did I choose to come on a Saturday? So, um, I found these. I think they're going to be the best because I can squash them and push them in. Because if I get this, it's basically the same thing but it's three times the price. And I'd rather something that was less money. Um, yeah, I've got three of them and I also got some um, things to close food bags with. I think that's my best option. Yeah, it's my best option. I never like to have the first one that everyone's touched. Because look, they've, somebody squashed them in so they will scratch. We have a winner.
I am so freaking pleased with this. I'm so freaking pleased. And the fact we have space underneath, it's so good. It's so good. So I did have plans for tonight. Oh my goodness. Why does that look like rat's tails? I have plans for tonight, but I'm feeling too anxious. So I've changed them for tomorrow. I need to put a wash on, sort out this, put my washing away, sort out this whole space. I feel like this, I don't need this lamp. I feel like I like it, I wanna like it, but it's just not me. So I might give it away on Olio. I was gonna sell it, cause I know I could make money from it, but I got it free on Olio. So I always feel guilty. I'm not one to sell things that I got for free. I need, to, I need some water, I'm so dehydrated. And my water is all the way over here. <laughs> Yeah, and I got a new plant pot, which I'll put my pink syngonium in. Okay, I've sorted the uh, donations have gone into the car. I've put a wash on. I'm ignoring putting the washing away for now. And I didn't break, let's not jinx it, but I didn't break a nail. I had to file one slightly, but I think that's pretty good. So I bought this green pot for my pink syngonium. My pink syngonium is incredible. Here's a picture of her as a baby. You are so good. She nearly passed away once, but we don't talk about that. This vase, this, this pot matches in with her leaves too much. Her. Matches in with her leaves too much, right? And I don't feel like it's the best plant to show off your colour. So we've got this one. Da 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 da. Da, da. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, that is much better. I think she needs to be repotted so that she's lower down so that there's less, less stalk coming up. But she's happy actually. Put out all these amazing flowers. No, leaves. Look at this. Incredible. I just love when there's a new one and it's like super pink. Looks like flesh. I like that much better. This one's from Ikea also. It comes with like a... Oh, I just scraped my nail down it. Oh, that went right through me. <laughs> so if you don't know, I massively, like so many others, massively got into plants during lockdown. I think at one point I had about 60. Now, I swap plants a lot, so I swap with my neighbours, I leave them outside, I give them to people, they give me plants. I used to do that all the time. But since, it's really interesting, but since I've been feeling happier with myself, I've been less interested in my plants. I love you, they can hear us. We should sing to them as often as possible. Yeah, I've been like, forgetting they're here, um, which I think is very interesting. Because at one point it was my life. Yes, it was lockdown, but even since then, it was part of my mass, massive part of my life. They don't give me that love I used to get from them. I feel like I found it elsewhere, which is great. This one's thriving. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? So hello, hello, this is voiceover Lauren, bringing you into the end of the video. Yeah, here I am, making the bed. Well, I've made the bed apart from my duvet cover, and I feel like everyone makes the duvet, puts on the duvet differently. So I like put my arms in, pull out the top two corners, and then sneeze, bless me. Always have to make sure you do it up, otherwise it's going to be full of full of the other washing and then you match the top left corner to the top left corner of the duvet and then you match the other top corner to the other top corner of the duvet and then you shake it shake 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 baby shake and then you pull it up push the bottom corner into the bottom corner the other bottom corner into the bottom corner then you zip it up don't you just love 
a duvet cover with a freaking zip and then you fluff it loads of times until it doesn't actually do what you wanted it to do then you smack the plant with it and then there we go pull it nicely like we're in a hotel ta-da yay thumbs up so what am I doing now oh yeah I've got to get the best buds onto the bed loaf bunny and rainbow yeah so this brings us to the end of the video thank you so 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 much for watching um the fact you've got to this point is incredible uh oh sorry i missed my thumbs up then because i was just staring out the window ah uh, da, 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 da. yeah if you get to this part in the video leave me a thumbs up emoji and i will give you a thumbs up back because i love you so 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 much thank you for watching Mwah. bye <laughs>